Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Game Dev Tycoon Strategy and Tactics episode... Oh, what was it? Episode 18. So in our last episode, we got our company's first perfect 10 game. Plush Rap Battle. Who'd have thought we would have hit a home run with a vocabulary strategy game. I certainly didn't, but we did. And yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it, it is most certainly selling like gangbusters. Uh, so yeah, um, and we also followed that up with Plush Colony Ship. How well did that do? We don't know yet. I left you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger and I found a way to leave you on a cliffhanger in a way that didn't mess with the UI and whatnot and, and cause my audio to go out of sync. Uh, so but without any further ado, let's see how we did. All right, game. Let's see how we did. Now, keep in mind, we were um, we did a round of training here, uh, but that's about all we did to push the envelope. OK, now that we are capable of perfect tens, anything under a perfect ten means I don't I don't want to say we whiffed, but we didn't hit, go too far. The tens are still a danger of us going past it. But you know what? I'll take an eight point five. That's for darn sure. That's for darn sure. OK. Now we're at month five. We need to get our get working on our game ASAP uh, if we are to get this out uh, for G3. We uh, we weren't investing enough uh, goodies here um, at the R&D lab to um, get enough bubbles. So let's go back to 750. That seemed to work for us. Um, and we, yeah, we don't have time for training here. So I think we're just going to try to fire off a new game here with an existing topic here. Um, we're going to have to turn something on is, is um, my thought. Uh, let's see, what shall we turn on or what shall we do um, to turn on here? Uh, let's see here. Aha! So we're going to do, we're going to reuse Medieval. Um, we're going to make this, again, it's E for everyone, because again, that just it just works best on our console here. And Medieval likes E for everyone just as well. Um, we're going to make this um, strategy. Uh, but we can mix, well, no, actually, mixing in simulation would poison the well. So we're just going to make it Medieval strategy. Um, and here... Um, the, um, yeah, let's see. Wow, PC's gotten snazzy. Those are some new graphics there. I'm also curious to see how, uh, how it sells here. We're going to keep doing it on the plush Nexus. Um, and we will port this over to the PC as well. It is worth it. With the PC being that dominant right now, it is absolutely worth it to port it over to the PC. I don't think there's anything else that really plays. I mean, the GS can't handle it. Um, I don't think the GR pad can handle large. Can I know the GR pad? Um, can the GR pad? I wish it would. I wish it would tell me if it can handle large games or not. That's that's the thing I don't know. I don't want to just shell out 50. All right, you know what? I'm going to shell out 50k just to see. Oh, all right. I guess we can. All right. So we're porting it to the to the uh, GR pad as well. Might as well. Might as well. Um, you know, once we get once our once our console becomes more uh, once we make our new console, we'll go back to pure exclusives. But right now, I think it's it would be worthwhile to go dipping into pies, as it were. Right then. Um, Let's see here. Okay, so this one is going to be plush medieval times. So, in um, in in our last game, Colony Ship, we took a little bit of a jump here, and we decided, you know what? 
would the would the whole plush universe work if we set it in the future? And again, this is sort of a one-off. We're not suddenly abandoning our our modern day roots. We're just playing around with the settings here, um, and the 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 audience seemed to respond to that. With the, so let's take it in the other direction. So now we have a game where you make your kid, but they are a young lord or lady in a medieval. Um, in a medieval times, uh, basically, they, they are they're a young noble, um, um, and they're uh, they have their their crew of plush toys. Now their plush toys look look and are certainly dressed a lot different. Um, we we go for authenticity with the hand stitched look, uh, since obviously there wouldn't be factory manufacturing. But the same plush universe rules apply. Um, now here your tutorial and the, sort of the new namesake. There are two of them depending on which gender child you pick. Up until this game, every single plush game has had zero impact as to whether you choose a male or female child. It's it's all acted and reacted the same because we want kids to, you know, feel included. You know, they, you know, it doesn't matter their gender, you know. Um, but in here, for for historical authenticity, your your how how what's expected of your kid is going to be different depending on if they are a young lord or a young lady. So here we have um, um, uh, uh, Chester the Jester for the young lord, say a, 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 a chestnut colored horse um, who's a bit, bit of a smart aleck. Uh, and for the young ladies we have Lady Zinfandel the Zebra um, who will be teaching you there. The whole name of the game here is um, like it, it, it's basically teaching you about the way things were back in the day. Uh, the gameplay factor is actually about a noble etiquette. Um, the, you know, all the different uh, titles and stations, you know, if you're having a party with these nobles, there's certain orders that you need to do. You need to, you you know, dine properly, but also acknowledge um, the other dinner guests according to their rank and uh, thing. So it's, it's a challenge for you to learn these things and then, you know, have your plushes sort of wave you and help you help you along the, the way, um, but also learn some real world historical medieval noble culture uh, all at the same time as well as like you know taking into a granted you know modern conveniences that you know modern kids would have your your noble kid does not have um so yeah edu edutainment at its finest let's uh let's go pin star penultimate let's get this on the table here all right, so we debuted at rank nine, which I mean, it's an 8.5. It's not going to sell like uh, like our other one here. Um, and I think our console is starting to get a little long in the tooth here. We may need to update it um, because we didn't get that huge sales um, blip from it, it as much as we thought it would. The inbox one is out, that's fine. Ooh, we got a big boost uh, to our sales there. All right, here, because we didn't do any training, we need to turn on some new features. Um, some advanced cutscenes? Well, yeah, I mean, I, it's wasting a little bit of our... Maybe, nope, nope, that's too much. Um, mod support? Hmm, that's too much for the engine to bear. Curious. Um, oh, definitely achievements. Uh, skill trees. Wow, that's... All right. That's going to be a big feature to add into it, skill trees. Uh, but I think it is, it, is a, it is a correct thing to do at this juncture. Um, to sort of get up your kids' you know, various skills in, in the different aspects of being a young noble. So skill trees are absolutely it. One million in sales. All right, we're back to G3. It, it, it took us a little bit longer than you than we thought to organize our next uh, uh, next one. Yeah, we didn't have nearly as many people. Well, not quite as many people. But we should be getting some good hype growth here. All right, there we go. Perfect. 
So they liked it. I mean, it is by no means a bad game. Now we just have to hope we uh, push this out before we uh, before we hit vacations. Um, of course. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, absolutely more on gameplay. That's a no-brainer. Wow, we hit 5 million with an 8.5. That that kind of speaks volumes here. And actually, you know what? Maybe we don't need it, because even with an 8.5, look at this curve right here. Uh, I granted some of that is G3, but uh, it still helps. Um, yeah, I think we're doing just fine. Um, I think we are going to hit it with a small campaign just to help it along. Um, yeah, everything else is going to stay the same. The only thing we turned on was uh, those skill trees. I'm curious to see how this, uh, how this factors in with all of our different things. I mean, the fact that, I mean, remember, Plush Colony Ship was ported to the PC. Um, so we do have that extra uh, market share here. So maybe that is what's helping it sell so well. Because, I mean, darn, it is selling really well. Oh, boy. We're going to need to turn on some features here to combat vacation weariness. That's not good. Our final phase is going to be trying. We, we, need to, we need to turn this on. Day-night cycle. Stereo sound. Well, I don't think we can fit stereo sound. Realistic, wow, you can't even fit realistic weather in there. Well, that's going a little bit thing, but day-night cycle, we'll turn it on for some extras. All right, guys. I, I hate to put you through a crunch period, but this is crunch. I, I personally and ethically, I, I think crunch is evil. But, yeah, we got to finish this. I mean, unfortunately, there is no way to say, like, hey, let's all take a vacation, pause the game, and then when everyone's fret nice and fresh, they, um, you know, we can, we can go back to it here. There's, there's no, uh, no option for that. Now, I'm curious. All right, so Plush Colony Ship, um, sales rank 9, and it uh, shipped 6.7 million at an 8.5. Rap battle, 8.7 for a perfect 10. See, I almost want to say we, we need to be porting. You know, even with our custom console, we still got to be porting. In which case, um, getting that. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Finish up the bugs and I'll let you go. I promise. We'll have some we'll have some nice relaxing training and 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 research and and what have you. We'll be fine. All right, off you go. Medieval times. Ding ding ding. And yeah, guys, get on vacation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's see how we did with this one. Um, it's, that was expected. I mean, those vacations really, really kind of sapped things here. I'd, I'd almost say that we could just do another game without any other boosts, uh, or rather we could roll back those engine parts that we turned on and just do a round of training and we'd be fine. Um, still, 7.5, not the worst thing in the world. Let's do some research. Let's get um, let's get some. Um, where is it? Multi-platform optimized. Because everybody's going to need that. Now I'm curious to see how this beast sells. Um, because we added that third platform to it. And once again, we have a really, really strong week two. We are still getting boosts out of it. Um, let's 
Well, first off, let's 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 go topic hunting here. What what did we? Um, ooh, sports. Actually, Pinstar, you need you need you you haven't trained in a while. Like you haven't properly trained in a while. So let's uh, let's properly train you. Um, we'll go for some programming for you. Lucy, Lucy, you can you can go for some uh, programming training while you're at it. Um, you, you will get us some sports. Sports! Um, and I don't want to go too crazy, so let's, uh, let's do some game reports here. While we're at it. Alright, and we do need to get this going, um, before our next phase hits, because... That's when our next, um, yeah, our name, our own game convention. All right, let's get the new game flowing. And this time, yeah, let's go for sports. And you know what? We'll do a young. We'll do a young. We, we got to get one for the kids. In fact, let's, let's, let's do, do a similar thing that we did before. Simulation, action. Both of those should be good for sports. Because uh, I know, I know, uh, sure as heck, strategy isn't that good for him. Um, young audiences, we're gonna do it for the plush nexus and the uh, gr pad. We are still kind of, kind of low in the uh, in the rankings now. Um, Oh, we'll throw it on for the PC, although that might that might hurt us because PC really doesn't like young audience games, but it's still really good. Um, no, you know what? We're going to leave the PC off of this one. And for our title, Lush Baseball. So here, it's uh, it's essentially a baseball game, but uh, for all of the different players, they are all uh, a a they're all plush toys. They're all your plushies. Um, so who you um, and it's real big on on league mode and draft mode. You know who you draft on your team. You can enter into leagues with uh, other players and have whole seasons of baseball games. Trade players, level them up. You know, go you know go through career mode. Your kid, by the way, is the umpire. Uh, not actually directly playing, but certainly making sure that there's a fair game being played. Um, so yeah, plush baseball. Sim simple as that. Simulation action. Um, on the Pinstar penultimate engine. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to shuffle things around a little bit. Medieval time, sound, uh, GR pad, uh, platform genre match strategy is good, um, but audience match is great. So yeah, they, they're good with strategy games. That also might have been what hurt us a little bit. Dialogue's not very important. Okay. Um, so for here, um, engine's a little bit more important, but it should still be fine as is. I'm going to try to leave it alone. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we can, we can, well, actually, no, I think I'm going to leave those features in place just because I think it's going to, uh, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a drain because this is, again, a not as a perfect thing. All right, Medieval Times and Plush Baseball. You can barely see the Ficklewood Studios there. How many people we got at our own con this year? A lot of attendees there. Not too shabby. And now our hype is growing like crazy. Grow that hype. Grow it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, play system three. Don't care. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here, here's where we need to do our flip flop here. 
We need to get Johnny Rome maxed out and Alan Lowe down like this. We've already turned on all of our uh, all of our other stuff here. Um, we'll get a small campaign to market this as well, just to help the hype grow. Because grow it shall. Yeah, even with the 7.5, when we when we parse it out to three different things, we still get 5 million in sales. Look at that. So yeah, ports are definitely a good thing. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we'll patch it all right. Um... Yeah, Pinstar, you're gonna have to patch. Our uh, our world design's gonna suffer a bit. Um, Alan Lowe needs to swap with Johnny Rome. There, that actually works out perfectly. That really works out perfectly. We can go a little higher with this maybe, but no, not really. Well, actually, no, we need to drop this all the way down is what we need to do. This needs to go higher. No, that's what it was. Pinstar, you take over that. Alan Lowe, you take over that. Graphics goes real high. Um, Alan Lowe, world design goes up a bit, but not too high. That shouldn't be too high. Graphics are still king here. We can squeak sound up just a touch. Yeah, we should be okay. 101 isn't going to kill anyone. But I'm not losing fans from bugs. Oh, don't dandruff in the middle of development, dude! Oh my god, this is going to be bad. This is going to be a bad, bad game. Pinstar, come on! Bubbles, man! Bubbles! Okay, he's actually... He's actually... Oh, hey! The Ninvento Swap! Yeah! They, uh, they didn't have this last time I played this one. The Ninvento Swap. I gotta look up the stats to that one. All right, this may or may not be a bad, bad thing. But I think after this, we may need to look into um, into uh, some of our other... All right, Plush is off the market. Now let's take a look at our stuff here. Yeah, 5.6 million units sold. Um, 6.7. 8.7 for that perfect 10, but that wasn't ported. See? I'm telling you, man. It's all about the ports. I don't know why I turned my back on them. All right, new topic, new combo. All right, and I'm not gonna make you guys wait. I'm, I'm just as curious here. Ooh, uh... <laughs> Ooh bullet dodged. At least I think. Oh. All right, yeah, no, bullet dodged. <laughs> if that would uh if that a hit elsewhere, or, or rather maybe this was a game that was about to suck and we got the, we got a merciful um modifier on here cuz baseball's a new one. But yeah, 9.25 plush baseball. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, folks, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.